Juliet. Hello, I'm Richard. And welcome to Musical Theatre Junior. Today we're going to give you a little taste of what happens in one of our musical theatre workshops. So we always start with a big group vocal warm up um, just to get our voices warmed up and to get physically warmed up. So we're just going to do a few exercises with you to get you nice and warmed up. So over to Rich. So the first thing we're going to do is a, a couple of scales and we're going to start on this note. If you can all sing this note. And we'll just sing it to R. Ah. And then we're going to just expand that and we're going to go up five notes and down five notes and it will sound like this. Ah. So let's all try that together. Ah. And breathe. Then we're going to go slightly higher. Ah. And again. Ah. going to say, sing it to la, so, uh, and we're going to do a separate la on each note. So, la 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 And now we're going to do what we call an arpeggio. So instead of going up separate notes, note by note, we're going to sing this. And we will stick to la on that, so. We're getting quite high now, so really big breath. La, so three and la 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 la, and another breath. La 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 la, and breathe. La 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 la, and let's see if we can do two more. La 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 la, and really high now. La la la. So well done if you managed to get there. Hopefully you're starting to feel uh, slightly warmer. And we are now going to try our next warm-up, which is going to be a song you will probably all be familiar with, The Grand Old Duke of York. So, just in case you're not familiar with it, we will run it once and you will learn it. But I think you will probably all know it. So, oh, the, the Grand Old, old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men, he marched them up to the top So we can really make a point of the words up and down, and we're going to bring that into context in a second. But let's try it one more time, slightly higher, and let's really accent up and really accent down. So here we go. Oh, the grand, grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And, up. and when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And now we are going to bring in some actions and we're going to follow the logical actions in that we're going to go up and we're going to go down. And I will join Juliet on this. So we're going to go we're slightly higher. For the beginning okay, let's do, let's do a bit of marching just to get going. So after four, so three, four, right, left. Here we go, and a bit faster as well. So one, two, three. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Okay, good. Uh, right, so one more. Uh, we're going to go slightly higher and slightly quicker. Here we go, sorry, one, slightly higher, here we go. Two, three. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Okay, good. Uh, 
halfway up to a night. There we go. That's got, hopefully got you. I think we should all be warmed up now. Right. On to the next bit. Right, today we're going to look at one of my favourite songs from one of my favourite musicals. Um, the musical is Mary Poppins and the song is Let's Go Fly a Kite. It is such a happy, joyous song, you can't help but smile when you sing it. So uh, what we're going to do is Rich will sing a couple of lines and then we will sing it back and we'll work our way through the whole song like that until you have it down. And um, you can just keep replaying this bit over and over until you have or all the lyrics memorized. It's really easy. Right, here we go, over to you, Rich. So the first two lines, with tuppence for paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. And that's your notes. With tuppence for paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. And let's sing it together. With tuppence for paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. Next lines. With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in flight. Everyone. With, With your, your feet, feet on the ground, ground you're a bird in flight. With your fist holding tight. Everyone. With your fist holding tight to the string of your kite. Everyone. To, to the string of your kite. And then we're all gonna go. Uh, 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 here we go. Uh, 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 and you may know this bit. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. All together. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Here we go. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring all together. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring. Now the tune stays the same, so up through the atmosphere all together. Up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. thing to remember in that last line is we have a slight gap before fly a kite. I'll just do it one more time so we have. Oh let's go and rest fly a kite. And if we're counting the length of notes on kite it's going to be uh, nine notes, nine beats, nine quite quick beats but one two three four five six seven eight nine. So the final line all together. Oh so three one two three. Oh let's go fly a kite. Oh, good. Now we're on to the second verse. When you send it flying up there, all at once you're lighter than air. And that's going to go like this. When you send it flying up there, all at once you're lighter than air. Let's all try that together. When you send it flying up there, all at once you're lighter than air. Good. And here we've got on the on the words we've got it written as houses and trees, so we're going to have no That's no H. Cockney accents. Cockney, so. uh, you can dance on the breeze over houses and trees. Let's all try that together. You can dance. You, you can, can dance on the breeze over houses and trees. And then we're back to the same as before. With your fist holding tight to the string of your kite. Oh, and I think we can all have a go together now. So let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring. And that's the whole song. Brilliant. But we may add a little bonus part in case you have uh, brothers, sisters, or any family at home who would be wanting, wanting to have a go at singing in a harmony. Oh, he's being so. tricksy. 
<laughs> this is going to be for the chorus, but it's quite logical in that it follows a very similar pattern to the actual tune. So, what it would be would be this. I'm just going to sing it in its entirety. It will be something along the lines of this. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. You may sing it down there or you may sing it up in the, in the sky up. Let's go fly a kite. I'll sing it once like this just to give you the idea. Up to the highest height, let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. Then we all come off together. So there's more than one of you, you can give that harmony a go. I am definitely sticking to the tune because everyone in musical theatre knows I am terrible at harmonies. I just make them up. So I'm sticking to the tune, but when we run it, Rich, you can, you can do the fancy harmony. Right, so now we've learned the singing side of things, we just need to learn the actions. And for this, they are super, super easy. For the first verse, you just have to sing with a big, excited smile on your face until you get to with your fist holding tight and you're gonna grab it. Now, because you not, are not on stage, you can choose whether you want to grab it with your left or right hand. It's totally up to you, whichever feels more natural. So you grab it with your fist holding tight to the string of your kite. And on the O's, you have to imagine that a big gust of wind has come along and it's starting to pull your kite right up in the air. So you're going, oh, and on the let's, it really takes flight and it soars up there. So your hand goes right up let's go fly a kite and you're looking at your kite up and out then it looks amazing and it's beautiful and it's you've got to imagine that the wind keeps blowing it so there's a bit of wobbling around you keep going that up through the highest height let's go fly a kite and then as it, you get to send it soaring the wind is picking up even more and you don't want it to blow out of your hands so you go and send it soaring and then you're going to swoop your arm across your body up through the atmosphere and then it swoops back the other way because the wind has changed direction up where the air is clear and make sure all the time you keep your eyes right up on your kite and then it, it floats around in front of you oh let's go fly a kite and you pull it back in ready for the next verse which again you just sing with a happy excited face and for the second chorus we do exactly the same thing. So easy peasy. The most important thing about this song is your facial expression and that you have so much excitement because it is so much fun to go flying a kite, um, especially for the children in the show that haven't done many fun things until Mary Poppins comes along and they're out flying their kite, I think at this point with their dad and they're so excited. So um, just make sure when you're singing it, you've got a really bright face with bright singing to match it. Right, so I think it's time to put the singing and the actions together. With, With tuppence for paper and strings, you can have your own set of wings. With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in flight. With your fist holding tight to the string of your kite. Oh. Kite up to the highest 
tight. Let's go fly a kite. Send it soaring up through the atmosphere. Up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly a kite. Right, that is it for Musical Theatre Junior for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to be doing a couple more of these, so um, please do join us for those. And maybe we'll see you at Musical Theatre in the future. Uh, but for now, from Richard and myself, bye-bye.